Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom of Learning. So there is some very important information for all the law aspirants as your counseling has already started on 6th of October and there are so many other dates and so many processes which you need to know. So watch this video till last and note down all these important things and if you want complete support and career counseling do subscribe to the channel. So now let us start. So first of all as you all know that your result has been declared on 5th of October then from 6th October at 12 p.m. your registration for CLAT counseling has also started so I hope all of you must have registered for this first round of counseling so now this will pro this process will go on till 7th of October if you have not done it you can do it because today is 7th of October only so from 9th October your first seat allotment will start so for that what you people have to do let us see that for that first of all you have to accept or lock your seats and you have to upload your documents and pay the fee of that particular NLU for which you have opted then you have to like from 9th October to 10th October this process will go on you can apply for upgrade then you have to again submit your documents and you have to to pay the fees again and if you find that your admission is not done there then you have to apply exit admission process means you can take back from that seat now on 11th october from 6 pm second seat allotment list will be up uploaded so what you will have to do again you will have to follow the same process means if your name is there in the second round you have to accept or lock your seats you have to upload your documents and pay the fee then you have to apply for upgradation you have to submit the documents and you have to pay the fee and again if you are still not satisfied or for some any re uh, reason you have not been allotted that seat in the second round also then you have to exit admission process means you again you have to exit as you did it in the first round so in the second round also you have to follow the same thing so now we will see what will happen after that so after that uh, like from October 14, 6 p.m. third and final seat allotment list will be uploaded and again you will have to follow the same process and I think by now it will be clear to you what you have to do now like same way you have to upload your documents you have to accept the seat and uh, you have to pay the fee you have to apply for upgradation and even if in this round also you are not able to get admission in any of the NLUs then you have to exit admission process again. So in this way you have to follow these guidelines these all these dates are very important for all of you. You should mark them in your calendar so that you don't forget anything and if you have not filled the counseling form yet today is the last date you can do it today also so now we have to see that uh, how this counseling process will go on what are the conditions first thing is that this process will be online then number of seats candidates invited for CLAT registration will be equivalent to three times the number of sanctioned seat intake in each category means whatever is the number of seats three times more candidates will be called so you can understand that everybody will not be given admission on the basis of counseling another thing is that the fee to register for counseling is rupees 50,000 this I have already told you in one of my videos then at the end of registration the candidate will have to give or update their preferences and here you have to give minimum five preferences means uh, which five colleges you prefer according to your interest you have to mention them in your form so now we will see that uh, so another most important thing is that only such candidates who have registered for counseling will be considered for CLAT seat allotment 2020 so this is very much important that you have to register for counseling if you are thinking of this admission in NLUs or any other colleges so again and again I am asking you that you first register for the counseling then only everything will be done then post acceptance of seats by the candidates NLUs will verify your documents and they will accept candidates upon the payment of fee but uh, the NLUs will then 
After that, uh, the NLUs will update the accepted or not accepted details online. Means then after everything is done, you have paid your fees and everything. Then you will have to check the websites so that you come to know whether your admission form has been accepted or not accepted. So these are the details which you have to know. So I wish you luck that if you have filled forms for counselling, I wish that you may get those colleges. And if still you have not. subscribe to the channel yet do it